Hi everyone. Okay, let's talk a little. I'm going to talk a little about irony right now. And one of the things is uh, I'm supposed to do this stupid hair. I'm supposed to do this right now to relax. I know I mess with my hair a lot because I get real nervous talking to you, and that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I put myself under a lot of pressure. I mean, this here. I'm supposed to enjoy this, and it's relaxing, but I stress out about how I look about everything else because I get very hard on myself for whatever I've done wrong in this life. I wish I knew what that was. Uh, like, you know, it's just, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a girl, but I'm not a girl yet physically. And well, you know, here's, I'll tell us the secret. I'm 34. And gosh, that's that's a lot of years, and it's very hard for me not to always notice all the flaws that have come up over the years, the stuff I've missed, the mistakes I've made. Even looking at here, first thing I think of is what's wrong with my skin. It's crazy. But you know, you have mood swings and you deal with them. But some days you get you you feel. You know, you feel old. You feel tired. You know, there's like 10 years of my life that I don't like to think about. And when you miss years, you know, it's you don't get them back. You can make the rest better. So it's, you know, and you still can say, well, I'm the person I like today because I got through that. And that's a great feeling. I mean, that is just a wonderful feeling to know that you've gotten through it and that you have something to be proud of. I mean, for me, it's simple things. I have get so scared doing normal things, even this. This is an effort today, being here with you guys and saying hi. It's a little effort because I was nervous. And I notice all my flaws every time I do this. And that's why I jerk around a lot. Cause I always want people to see the best of me. But I gotta remember, you need to see all of me. And here I am. Right there. A little too much of me. A little random, as always. What I'm trying to say is that it's neat to be able to chronicle my journey here. Because every time I do this, it's a little easier. Getting the voice right, being more feminine, going out and getting myself things I like. That's all new. Um, talking to people who actually like me for me and getting rid of the people who don't. Dealing with the people who, you know, deciding who is a real friend and who I can count on. That's a hard thing to do, girls. It's hard to give up the people that you realize aren't responsible. Even if you love them and like them, maybe not give them up is the wrong word, but to reevaluate where they are in your life. I mean, if someone can't keep up or they're selfish, I mean, how do you fit? You have to refit them, especially when you go start going through a transition like I am. Because you suddenly find that you don't have room for people who can't be there for you. Especially if you're like me and you work really hard on being there for other people. You know, I've not really lost a friend, but I've lost a lot of trust with a friend lately because, well, he helped me get somewhere and get something done. We went to a convention. I helped run it, but he was irresponsible. He stopped talking to me while I was preparing to go, and he just ignored, you know, ignored me. And then he played, and then he said we had to leave early, which kind of broke my promise to these people. And that's what I mean by pressure. I always feel I have to be there. I should have, like, you know, instead of thinking about all the fun I had at the con, I often think about the negative things. We had a great time at that con. I, I mean. People think it's weird I talk most about the work, but that's mostly what I did, and I enjoyed it. 
as difficult as it was, I really enjoyed it. I like to work. I like getting getting commissions. Shameless plug. Insert, shameless plug inserted here. And of course, I don't have my business card to show off right now. No, no, I'm. Or no, no, no. Here we go. As I said, shameless plug. Insert here. Backwards. Not backwards. I don't know how that works. That's my work. Ooh. Anyways, see, these are the things that you proud about. And um, so it's more than just that type of pressure. It's the pressure on getting better, on getting myself out of Cleveland, on my whole life. Going through, you know, going through this transition has really taught me about, I mean, I've been waiting to do it for quite a few years. I didn't tell anyone. I only knew myself after a while that I'd been waiting for something. So I guess what I'm saying in this case is girls, it's slow and you should enjoy it. I mean, I've only just started and I'm really coming to grips with that. But the thing you remember is you chronicle it. You make videos like this, you take pictures. And then one day you do the thing that every one of us does. You put a little music out and you show all the differences because it's a difference. And you get to see what you look like and how you change and what you can be proud of. And, well, you know, I mean, it's happened to me more than a few times recently. I look in the mirror and, hey, I don't know this person. I've said that the last one, I know. That's the theme of my life right now, so I repeat. Did I mention I repeat? Because I repeat. I repeat a lot. Repeating. Let me repeat it. Nah, we're done. And so, there you go. I, I held Jack up, so I'll hold Mary up now. Mary's not very social stuff like this. This is Mary. Hi, Mary. And Mary is a Kitty cats are a great way to lose pressure because they're so kitty, 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 kitty. Now, as I was saying, uh, so yeah, girls, just the pressure, just gotta, it, you learn to live with it, but also you learn how to, how to let it go. It's your journey, and you'll get through it. I mean, oh no, it's a kitty shark. I think that's the sign I'm getting too serious. Be, you know, because in a minute the jaws thing will come up, and I'll be attacked from behind by a giant kitty cat. So, yeah, see, they're circling. That means I should feed them, and that means I should stop being, you know, being so ridiculously serious, and I should eat something. So, blessed be, toodles, and bye!